he and um, the actor, what's he called? Lawrence Fox. Lawrence Fox uh, led a march on Saturday. I can't remember what the march was called. You may know more than I. Patriot's Day or something. Patriot's Day uh, across, <coughs> across London. And what I'd like to do first is read out what the police said hmm. before the march happened. Yeah. And this is very widely publicised. Tommy Robinson, Lawrence Fox, right wing, blah, 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 whatever. So the police responded. So the police issued a statement saying, officers have identified individuals within the crowd who have a history of being involved in violent disorder. A number have fo football banning orders and are associated with hooligan groups from London across the UK. There is also an element of the crowd previously well known for involvement in anti-lockdown protests during the pandemic and associated disorder. Whilst there have not been any, this is, so this is maybe an hour or so into no. it, well, there have not been any offences so far, but a number of people in the crowd are intoxicated and the event still has a number of hours left to go. So they're kind of setting the why, scene. Why do we need to know any of that? Well, I, I tell you, why the police let. Yes. This is nonsense. Yes. There's been no disorder. Yes. We don't need to know anything from yes. the police. Well, you, you've kind of stolen my thunder there. No. So the question I was going to ask you is. What happened in that march and how bad did it get? It turns out it was extremely successful. Unfortunately for the police. The yes. police wanted violence. The yeah. police wanted this one because then they could brand them all. The government can brand them all. Far right Nazis. Yeah. And we can clamp down on them again if they try to do this again. Yeah. There was no violence. Correct. Um, there was families there. There was children there. Everybody's waving yep. Union Jacks, St. George, the Welsh flag. There were black people there, black, there were Asian, Asian people there. Yeah. There were Sikhs there, you can tell by the turbans. There were yeah. all sorts of people there. Uh, predominantly white. Yeah. It was still a predominantly white country. Correct, yeah. Um, it was, and it turned out, a very, very good day. Yeah. And I think that statement from the police kind of just shows us where we are today. Mm -hmm. You know, the police have actually were actually there deliberately foreshadowing yeah. that it would become violent and disruptive rather than actually saying it seems to be a peaceful march everybody mm. seems to be whatever yeah. we're hoping it'll have a nice day out in London mm. and there won't be too much disruption mm. they actually almost seem to be priming yes priming the crowd priming people to mm. expect mm. violence and disorder have they ever announced something like that with the Free Palestine march? no never so we're at the Free Palestine march there's been no violence yet but we can see four Islamists we can see people yeah. who've been arrested for violence we can see we can see this we can they never, never they never do that never. never and what also happened which I know you're aware of there was a Free Palestine mm. protest happening elsewhere in the city and that did spill into violence yeah. and disorder and I understand quite a few people were arrested there yeah so we have here the juxtaposition of a police force, a British police force, an English police force, deliberately trying to unsettle and create disharmony in a peaceful protest yep. of English people talking about patriotism for their country, carrying St George's flags yep. and British flags. Not, trying to do not that. allowed in this country anymore. Not allowed. Not allowed. And then on the other hand, we have um, Free Palestine, no commentary made. Yep. Violence, disruption, yep. chaos yep. created, basically, um, and I think it really that really for me is a sign of the times. Because mm. I, I I became aware of this march and I read exactly this, <clears throat> and I it, I could see what they were trying to do straight mm. away. Now Lawrence Fox is not a fascist, is not a racist, is not anything. The fact that he is marching now with Tommy Robinson for me. I know most of the left-wing woke will be saying, mm. oh, he's a racist, fascist, or whatever, but I know he isn't. Mm. So you're now seeing him marching with Tommy Robinson. That kind of tells us a story as well, doesn't it? It does. Tommy Robinson at the moment is, is cleansing himself. Mm. Tommy Robinson has always had the right messages, but he was the wrong messenger mm. because of his history of... He's been arrested and prosecuted for being a football hooligan. He helped set up the EDL which went off on a tangent. Um, so he's the wrong messenger, but his message has always been correct. He's been warning us for years about the grooming gangs, about the attack on white patriotism. Um, but since Elon Musk brought him back on Twitter, he's had a lot more... F I mean, he's up to a million followers now. Really? Yeah. Um, and, you know, so he's, he's been slowly being cleansed when more people listen to him and go, well, he's not what I thought. Mm. Um 
and the march was fantastic. Why can you not march in your own country and wave your own flag and, and be proud of who you are? Everyone else can be proud of who they are in this country, mm. apart from if you're white, straight or British. Mm. Well, not even British, mm. English. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Welsh and Scots and Irish can all be proud of themselves. Yeah, yeah. Every time I wrote an article the other day um, about how English men need to stand up and do more, and the amount of comments I got, people go, well, I'm Scottish. And I felt like saying, well, first of all, get back to Scotland then. <laughs> but you're in, you're in my country telling me you don't like me using the word Englishman. I'm using the word Englishman because that's who I'm speaking to. Yeah. Read my article as a Scotsman, fine. Yeah. But I'm not talking yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah, I'm, t- I'm talking to Englishmen. I'm talking yeah. to Englishmen. Yeah. I had a woman text me as well. Oh, that's not very really inclusive language. I'm an English woman. Did that, but, well, I'm not talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking, I use my words carefully. I'm talking to English men. Yeah. That's why I use the words English men. Mm. I'll write another article. I'll talk about English people. I'll talk about British people. Mm. I might even talk about British women. Then I'm talking to But you, you. know what you're saying and you yeah. say it deliberately for yeah. that point. Yeah. But people seek to take offence whatever you try and do, don't they? In they that do. situation. Yeah. But you're right. There's no... And, and, and interestingly, we, we talk about America's decline and democracy in America, but... I don't think anybody in America would have a problem with a march saying we're marching for America to make, you know, making America great. Oh, they again. would now. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 20 years ago, no. Yeah. But the American flag used to be sacred, didn't it? It did, but it, that's, yeah, all that's changing. Mm. Um, America's in a bad place. So you think now a march of Americans carrying mm. American flags would, would not be received as well? Not in any of the big cities. Yeah, some true. little town in the Midwest somewhere they still yeah. do that because yeah. they're still a very close community but in any of the big cities of America you'd never get that now Yeah, I mean for me the Tommy Robinson march with Lawrence Fox the, there were thousands of people there I saw the video I think yeah. they said there were a few the media said a few hundred as always yeah. um, I think it's a I think it's a good sign mm. I think it's a good sign that people are starting to rediscover themselves again and the English is starting yeah. the English in the and British. it's a good sign there was no violence yeah because if you would have got drunken football hooligans there, yeah. wanting to pick fight with the police, that just damages everything. Yeah, yeah. And in those marches, the stewards, the people who are organising it, need to be having words with people like that. Yeah. And if it means taking them down an entry and giving them a smacking about you will not be causing problems on these marches. Yeah. Because that's how they've managed to beat down the Englishman is by making us all think we're all racists and bigots and yeah. hooligans yeah. because one or two people always cause trouble. Yes. And we need to make sure as a collective we teach those people not on here, mate, because you'll get a beating off us if you do. Yeah. That's how we control them. Okay. <laughs> so, um, and it, it's interesting they mentioned the lockdown protests because I took place took part in the lockdown protests. Oh, so you mean the lockdown protests that have now been proven that there was no point in locking us down? Yeah. 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 I took part in <clears> that. <throat> and when I was involved in that, <clears throat> people were arrested for no reason. <clears throat> I saw it happening. There was a guy I was walking with who tried to walk through an area. It was in Liverpool. We are on a march in Liverpool. He tried to walk through. I've got it on video, actually. He tried to walk through a particular section. They yeah. wouldn't let him. He tried to persist. Next minute, they had him against the wall, slammed him against it. He was perfectly peaceful. Mm. Slammed him. It could have been me if yeah. I'd have been ahead of him at that yeah. moment. Slammed him against the wall, arrested him. Don't do that in any of the marches, do they? No. Don't yeah. do, they don't do that free Palestine marches, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah. Unless you're a Jewish person yeah. trying to cross the street at yeah. that point. So You yeah. look openly Jewish. Yeah, yeah. You shouldn't be here. <laughs> yes, we'll arrest you and hit yeah. you with a large stick. Yeah. Well, you, uh, that, that, that was cotton. You saw that on camera, didn't you? Yeah. In London. I, no, I've not seen that. No, Police co- yes. said to him, you look openly Jewish. You shouldn't be here. You can't cross the road. <laughs> it's like, shit, wait, is this, is this a colour film from 1935? <laughs> Absolutely crazy. And I don't blame the officer for that. But the fact we're at that stage is horrendous. Yeah, it's horrendous. And and we, we before we, this podcast with you and I were chatting, but we, we mentioned an incident. The police now are primed to attack or or be hostile to not to english people white people european people who are protesting something mm-hmm. in a particular way but so they seem to be there seems to be a much longer leash leash for is islamists for palestinian mar- free palestine marches for brown people and there was an incident in 
there was an incident in Germany where uh, a Palestinian. I can't, you might have to tell me what yeah. a Palestinian. There, there, there was a German protest. German protest. Our speakers about. Immigration. Yes, anti-immigration. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Um, Not anti-immigration, control, well, whatever yeah, it was. Yeah. Whatever, I don't know yeah. what it was really about. But anyway... A, Protesting against a number a, of immigrants coming into the country. An Afghan an asylum Afghan. seeker yeah. pulls a knife yeah. and starts stabbing people. Stabbed one of the speakers in the face, stabbed some other people. Someone jumped on him, pinned him to the floor. The police turned up, jumped on the white German guy who was pinning the assailant to the floor. The assailant stands up runs to two more people, stabs them, and then runs back to the police officer, pinning the white German to the floor, and stabs the officer in the neck and kills him. So the officer turns up and goes, what's going on here? White guy on brown guy, jump on him. Yeah. And that, I'm not saying that happened, but that's how, no, it, but I think but it, that's how it looked like it happened. But it looked like that that's what it was. There was no assessment of the situation who, oh, the white guy's got a brown guy on the floor who's got a knife in his hand. Yeah. No, no, we'll just jump on the white guy. Yeah. That's how it came across. I, I, I suspect it is happening that, Nick. I, I suspect, and, and and I think it's because they're told to behave that way. Mm. I think they're told, they you know, and, and, you know, the fundamental message here is not all brown people are good, mm. you know. It's kind of, and I'm saying that as a brown person, <laughs> not all brown people are innocent mm. and good and, and fantastic. They're just the same as white people. There's good people and there's bad people as well. But there now is a prejudice or a bias, I think. Or a fear. Or a fear. Maybe it's a fear. Uh, I've had police officers say to me that they've been in many situations with black youths in Greater Manchester where they've suspected that could be a knife in their pocket and they've not searched them Mm. because they're scared stiff. Yeah. If it's not a knife, I'm being filmed here. Yeah. And And it turns out to be a big pen of a phone or whatever, yeah. then I'm on TikTok yeah. and and the scared stiff. So that kid who's got a knife, who potentially has a knife, now walks off. Yeah. Well, what I would do in that situation is use a classic carry on line. I'd say, is that a knife in your pocket or are you just pleased to see yeah. me? <laughs> did you like that video? I think you did. Hit the bell, give it a big thumbs up, comment. And don't forget, I'm standing for election in Old Meese and Saddleworth. So please share this video, speak to your family and friends if you live in Greater Manchester and if you live in Alderman and Saddleworth, make sure you vote for me. Catch you soon.